areas and volumes deal with space. Area is 2D space. That means space occupied by a 2D object. Basic 2D objects are a circle whose area is pi r squared. Pi is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to the diameter of the circle. Then triangle, the basic area is half into base into height. And we have a rectangle whose area is length into breadth. Volumes are 3D space, space occupied by 3D objects. There are primarily two types of 3D shapes, prisms and pyramids. Prisms are shapes that has an area of cross-section and they have a height above the ground that makes them 3D. Pyramids, on the other hand, are a bit more complicated and they rise from the middle of a 2D shape. If you take a circle and then if you raise that circle one above the other, this prism would be known as a cylinder and the circle would be the area of cross section. If you take a rectangle and then we raise the rectangle, this particular prism would be called a box or a cuboid. If it was a square, it would be called a cube. In case of a triangle, it would be like this. It could be any shape that can be brought into a prism. The general formula for the volume of a prism is volume equals to area of cross section that is the area that is raised times the height. It would be pi r square into the height pi r square h that would be the volume of the cylinder. In case of triangles it would be half into base into height into the height. Let me call this the length. In case of cuboid or box that would be length into breadth into height. In case of pyramids, it is raised from the middle and the shape is quite different. It's not like a prism. This thing can be done to also a circle and a triangle. When a circle is raised like this, like a pyramid, it's called a cone. A cone is made up of a circle at the base and from the center it is risen and so that it looks like a pointed pyramid. When a triangle is raised like this, it's called a tetrahedron because it has four faces. The general volume for a pyramid is one third base area into height of the pyramid. So if the pyramid is rectangular base, so the volume would be one third base area would be length into breadth into height. If the pyramid is a circular base which is known as a cone, then the volume would be one third base area is pi r square into h. And when the pyramid has a base of a triangle, then it would be one third half into base into height into height. When a cone is cut from the top 
and we are left off with a special shape. That shape is known as a frustum. The frustum is simply a headless cone and when we look at a frustum, it is just the volume of the larger cone that previously existed and the volume of the cone that was removed. The leftover is the volume of the frustum. There is another shape known as the sphere. The sphere is different from a circle. A circle is flat and it is 2D in shape. A sphere is like a ball. So the difference between a sphere and a circle is the difference between a true 2D object and a 3D object. The volume of a sphere is given by 4 third pi r cubed and the radius goes in all direction. Half of a sphere is a hemisphere like the hemisphere of the earth. Volume of a hemisphere is volume of a sphere divided by 2. When shapes or solids are formed by adding other shapes and solids, we simply add their area or volume. For example, this particular shape is made up of a semicircle and a rectangle. So we don't have any name for the shape, but we can simply find the total area by adding up the area of the half circle with the area of the rectangle and that would give us the total area. Same thing goes with solid. When we have a solid like this rocket over here, all we have to do is add up the volume of the cone over here which is one third pi r square h with the volume of the cylinder which is pi r square h. However, this cannot be done in case of surface areas. Surface areas are the area of the surface that a solid is made up of. It is possible to make a solid using a 2D shape. If we take a piece of rectangle and we cut the corners, the four corners, and then if we fold this piece of paper, it is possible to turn this into a solid shape. Now the surface area of this shape is the shapes on the surface. There are altogether five surfaces. There is nothing at the top. So this surface 1, 2 and there are surfaces on the other side 3, 4 and there is at the bottom. Now these 5 surfaces all together is the same area as the area of the original piece, this piece of paper. This is a box also known as a cuboid where the length, breadth and height are different. It is made up of 6 surfaces. This is a cube where the length, breadth and height, they are all equal. It is also made up of 6 surfaces. The surface area of a cube is same as area of the 6 faces. So if one face is, if this is a square, if this is length and this is length, they are all equal. So this is going to be L square and all 6 faces are going to be the same. So this area is L square, this area is L square, this is L square, all six faces are same. On the other hand, this is a box or a cuboid. Here, all six faces are not equal, the opposite faces are equal. If this is length and this is height, then exactly the opposite face is going to be the same. So if this and this they're going to be the same and this and the opposite face this one it's going to be same and the ceiling and the floor is going to be the same that means it is made up of six faces but all the six faces are not equal surface area they have two same surface area a piece of rectangular sheet can also be wrapped around and form a cylinder this is a cylinder and the formation of the cylinder is by a piece of 
sheet or a paper around it. It has a surface area of 2 pi r h. That means the curved portion of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. If we cut that and make it into a rectangle, then this portion that wraps around in a circle is 2 pi r, the length of a circumference. The height is h. Since length into breadth is the area of a rectangle, so the curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. In case of a cone, a cone can be formed by taking a piece of sector and wrapping it around. And the shape that we get is a hat shape. And this is pi r l. r is the radius and l is the slant height. Height is the vertical. l is the slant height. So pi r l is the curved surface area in case of a cone. Pi r l. In case of a cylinder, we can have three situations. One can be a solid cylinder. It has a circle surface, circular surface at the top and at the bottom also. So it's a solid. The other one could be like some sort of a cylinder without any lid, but it has a base. Another one is a cylinder without a top or a bottom. It's like some sort of a pipe. So the surface area of each would be different. It is important to note all three cylinders occupy the same space, meaning the volume is same. So here they have a common. So the volume here would be pi r squared plus 2 pi r h plus the circle at the bottom, pi r square. The total surface area here would be, this is empty. So 2 pi r h plus the circle at the bottom, pi r square. Here, since there is nothing at the top or at the base, so the surface area would be 2 pi r h. The surface area of this would be what is visible from the outside. So the curved surface portion of a cone is pi r l. The curved surface portion of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. And at the bottom, there is a circle visible, so this would be pi r square. But even if there is a circle at the base of the cone, it doesn't matter because it is not visible on the surface. So it is made up of three surfaces. Another important concept is the concept of perimeter. When we have a shape like this, made up of a semicircle and a rectangle, the perimeter basically means the total length of the boundary, perimeter. And if you are talking about a shape of this shaded region, then for this shaded region, the perimeter would be this arc, which is half of a circumference, this length, L, this length, also L since it's the opposite side of a rectangle, and this side, B. The perimeter would not include this side because this is inside the shape and perimeter refers to the outside, the border, so total length of the boundary. So in overview, areas are 2D shapes. Some common areas are triangles, circles, part of a circle is a sector, and then we have four-sided figures known as quadrilaterals. We have parallelograms, rhombus, rectangles, squares, trapeziums, and there is also a shape referred to as kite. It is simply made up of two isosceles triangles. Shapes can also be formed by special shapes that does not have special names. For example, a circle inside a circle, we can call it a ring shape. It can also be a rectangle inside a rectangle. There are polygons, and common polygons are five-sided figures and six-sided figures. Volumes are solid spaces. There are prisms, and prisms are area of cross-section into length. And there are pyramids, which is one-third base area into height. 
surface area refer to the area of the surface and they have to be added individually that appears on the surface a special type is a frustum where the top of the cone is cut off sphere is another shape and hemisphere is half of a sphere surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square and in case of a hemisphere the surface is 4 pi r square divided by 2 